If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome to this brand new video today. I'm very excited to show you um, this fun squad I've made. It's not creative or anything like that. It's, it's actually very, very one dimensional, but it's a very fun squad. It costs 10 million plus coins, but you could literally make this squad for a lot cheaper as well. Anyway, um, let me know what kind of fun squads you guys been using in the comments. I would really appreciate it because I really don't care about meta squads. I really actually don't care about wins. You would see from the player stats right here. Like if I go into a game and I see someone using like an objective squad, I would let them take the win because why not? Who cares about getting wins at this stage of FIFA, right? Unless you're going for like weekend league, obviously. But other than that, I really don't care. I just want to have fun in this game, score some nice goals. And um, if I see someone doing like, if, if if I see someone being sweaty, I will just leave the game. Like I really don't care anymore in this, in this gameplay. Because literally, this is probably my most hated FIFA in general. I think from the start of... Uh, I think the first ultimate team I've ever played was FIFA 11 and this is the not the menus in general but the gameplay. Gameplay wise this is my most hated FIFA just because of how boring it is. So I made a fun squad and um, everyone that's in this squad I really enjoy using them. So I'm going to show you it and it does cost 10 million plus but at the same time it's um, you could make the squad like I said for a lot cheaper but let me know in the, in the comment section below what kind of team you're using what kind of fun cards you're using that not many people would like to try out just because they're not meta enough right so let me know in the comment section below so first up we have a player that goes by the name of Donnarumma now goalkeepers in general in this game are actually trash they're all trash other than Testegen who's a bit different other than him they're not that great. So we played 29 games with him already. And um, he, again, he's six foot five, which is always a bonus on the goalkeeper, but you really won't feel much difference. Do not waste your money on special goalkeepers. I've only done that just because I have the money to, but it's really a waste of coins. So not really much to say, it's just a goalkeeper to fit in the squad. Then we have the two center backs that I've been using, which are awesome. So we have um, Prime Moments Cannavaro with an engine on him. And I have to admit, this is probably my favorite center back in the whole game. We've played 68 games with him and he's just such a fun center back. And I bought one way before that when he first was released. He was like 3 million coins at the time. And I really enjoyed using him, but I could see him dropping in price for so much. So I wanted to sell him before he drops even more and I lose more coins on him. So I bought him back now when his price kind of settled. Also, before I continue, all these plays you're seeing, I was dropping in price, so I would not um, recommend buying any of these players unless you unless you don't care about your coins. Like me, I don't care about losing too much coins at this stage of FIFA. I already have way too much anyway, so I really don't care. Now the second centre back is going to be no other than the flashback Ogbonna. I feel like this is one of the better SBCs EA has released. He was a bit on the expensive side. But he has the stats to back it up, and he's actually really, really good. If I had to, um, if I had to describe him to or compare him to another card, it would be the the foot birthday. Was it foot birthday? No, it was the future star Tomori. He feels pretty much like him. So if you like him and want an SBC to do, then there you go. Ogbonna is just that. A bit harder to link up with because he's Italian in the Premier League, but there you go. So that is our sec second center back. Is he better than Cannavaro? No way. But Cannavaro, the biggest thing about him is look at his agility and balance. It is very rare to find that kind of stat on a center back. So it's you just can't. I don't even think many center backs even have it in the game. So that is why he feels amazing. Now, our right back is going to be no other than Zambrotta Prime Moments. Now, you guys get to where this team is going. So, prime moment, Zambrotta, amazing player. Um, is he the best right back? Not really. I don't like him too much, but because he fits the squad, he's good enough. So, uh, and he's also the best Italian right back in the squad. We've played 32 games with him. He cost 1.2 uh, million coins, basically, and he's only scored us one goal. Now, I have used better right backs that are a lot cheaper than him, so I don't exactly recommend him too much, but because it's a fun squad, hey, he fits in it. So our left back is going to be no other than Baby Maldini. 
He's pretty good, but very slow at the same time. So defensively, he's really good when he can barge off the plays and so on. He feels a lot stronger than a lot of left backs that I've used, but at the same time, he feels very, very slow because he should be a center back. That's how EA made his body in this game. He's not a left back and he has only 87 pace at six foot one. That's actually quite slow compared to all the cards EA's released now. Everyone's got like 99 pace and some crazy, crazy pace attributes. So he is very slow at this stage of FIFA. If EA release a team season Italian left back, I might get him, but it's very, very hard to see them doing that. He's played 29 games for me, two goals. So again, he feels like a center back playing at left back because of his body type, but he fits the squad and he's the best Italian left back. So our first central defensive mid is gonna be no other than Andrea Pirlo. No one's gonna expect an Italian squad without Pirlo, the main man, he's like a legend. Um, so we've put a Hunter chemistry style on him and I have to admit, he's a very, very good central defensive mid. He's got six assists from that kind of position. That's really good for me. And also he's played 29 games. So again, we've played a lot of games with all these players. Five star skills makes him a very fun card. Four star weak foot. And he's also going to be the player that takes my corners, um, penalties and so on. He's just the main man. He's my captain of the squad. And you just cannot have an Italian squad without Andrea Pirlo. So our second central defensive mid is going to be no other than future star Tonali and he, uh, we go him for 840k. Now he has some pretty amazing stats and I have to admit in the game, in the match, he feels like an Italian Conte. So um, he's very cheap for what he brings on the table. He makes a huge difference and defensively he's way better than Pirlo. Pirlo is just way better at assisting, passing and also shooting. Now at the same time, this... Um, this Tonali has some really good stats and the reason why I feel like he feels like Conte is he's 5 foot 11 so not the tallest of players and he feels very agile like agility is 80, bands 85 so for the kind of statistics that he has I feel like he, he feels even better in game so his stats don't tell the whole story and it could be that anchor chemistry start improving it a bit more but I feel like he's one of the most underrated cards in this game. And I wish EA showed like defensive stats, not defensive stats, like um, blocked shots, interceptions made, tackles won, rather than these kind of irrelevant stats for a central defensive mid, right? I wish they did that, but they don't. So we head over to our very first center attacker mid of the squad, and it's gonna be no other than Del Piero. We play him in this position with an engine chemistry style because EA fought it was smart of them to give him 69 balance for some reason. But I have to admit, for the price, he isn't an insane card, like 2.2 million, basically. He isn't the best of uh, sense attack and mids. I've used so many better ones, but because it's Del Piero, the five-star weak foot makes him so lethal in the game. So 29 goals, uh, sorry, 29 matches played, 10 goals, four assists. So not the craziest of stats, but you have to remember that I do give wins in this game if I face any objective squad in division rivals. So I do give them wins if I see that. And lots of people rage quick, quicker now at this stage of FIFA. So if I see myself going one or two nil up, people rage quit straight away. So uh, people just don't hold off to the end of the match anymore. So yeah, Del Piero for all his price, not the best. I feel like lots of team of season cards are gonna feel way better than him. But for now, he's the main center attack in mid. Now on the right side, we have another center attack in mid who goes by the name of, um, I think I have him as center forward. So he goes by the name of Zola. Zola is a very fun card to use. And the reason I have him higher up on the pitch is because he has that 90 pace, very fast player, 29 games, two goals, seven assists though, which is pretty good. And don't forget, he's facing all these other icons. So not one guy is gonna stand out. A lot of them are gonna share these statistics. Not all of them, not one guy is gonna have like insane stats. So four star, four star, high medium work rate, five foot six. That's why he feels faster in game than just 90 pace. He has some insane stats. He's the one that takes my free kicks at short, like at short range. And also he's the guy that takes my penalties because penalty wise, I think, was it him? No, it wasn't him. I think it was uh, Del Piero, I think it was, that takes the penalties. One of the players has some insane stats for penalties. I can't remember who it was. And that brings us to our final center attack in mid, and that is no other than Roberto Baggio. And I have to admit, he is the cheapest center attack in mid in this, in this squad. 
but also my favorite one. And that is probably because um, his five star skills. Going forward with him, you have a lot more variety to score nice goals. And here's a fun fact, all three of my center attacking mids have the finesse shot trait. Roberto Baggio has it, Zola has it, and also Del Piero has it. And that is what I like about Roberto Baggio. Out of all of these two, he's the easiest one to try and finesse it with him or make space with him thanks to his five star skills. So those are my three center attacking mids, very fun uh, front three and uh, definitely recommend them. Just at like alone, they don't do too great, but together they're insane. So uh, really have fun using these guys up top. Now our striker, if you haven't guessed it yet, is gonna be no other than foot birthday lasagna. Very, very good player. Does not have the finesse shot trait, but has the best stats you're gonna see on an Italian striker. 97 pace, literally a meta card, and I feel like for his price is just, how is he going for so cheap? Just because he's an 86 rated card? I don't know, but he's such a good player, and it says he has 81 balance in game. He feels a lot better to dribble with in the game. Trust me, guys, and we've played quite a bit of games with him. 29 games, 15 goals, 10 assists for him. Very, very good player. Five-star weak foot, just has meta stats, but people just don't care. People just don't care. So looking at his stats, this is the first time I see he's actually left footed. So it just didn't really matter in the game because he has that five star weak foot. I didn't even know he was left footed, which is weird to know that now that I'm looking at his uh, stats. But again, because he has that five star weak foot, it really doesn't matter. And look at his shot power. That's all you need to increase. Give him 10 plus shot power, 95 and 88 long shots. He's gonna do damage for you guys. So I think Maestro is the best chemistry style on him. And that is the squad. This is the squad I've been using now. If there's any better players that are gonna be coming out in the team of the season dollar Italian, they are gonna be replacing some of these players. My most um, hated player right now is probably Maldini, just because he feels very slow. And that is where the team is vulnerable against wingers that are very fast. He doesn't catch up to any of them. He's very bulky, very stiff. So that is the weakest part in the squad. And then if any better players that come out in, as a right back as well, I definitely want to replace Zambrotta. These two, I feel I've done, I just don't have fun too much with using them. So I would love to replace them. Other than that, I really, really love this squad. Let me know your fun squad in FIFA right now. What are you using? This, I thought would be an interesting video to show you what I've been using. And I really don't like meta, meta squads anymore because it's just boring to see the same players in squads every time. I'd rather use players that I could have fun with at this stage of FIFA and team season is nearly out. So it's not a big deal anymore to me if I lose coins. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of team you're using now and hopefully you have a very nice day.